Okay, so today's topic of our self-development webinar is optimist versus pessimist and how to overcome your limiting beliefs and program yourself for success. And uh, on today's webinar, we're going to discuss how to know if you are an optimist or a pessimist. We're going to talk about the benefits of being an optimist. We will talk about how to overcome your limiting beliefs and how to start seeing new opportunities in life. Let's dive into the webinar right away. If we take a horizontal line and put optimistic to the right and pessimistic to the left, then somewhere in between you can find yourself. Uh, there are no 100% optimistic people and there are no 100% pessimistic people. Uh, if those people exist, then there are only a couple of them. So let's talk today about the majority of us. Every person, uh, you and me and you know everybody else, is somewhere on that spectrum. The closer you are to the right, the more optimistic you are. The closer you are to the left, the more uh, pessimistic you are. So when somebody asks if you are an optimist or a pessimist, uh, then you can't really answer that question accurately. You might be 70% optimistic and 30% uh, pessimistic. It depends on which area in your life you are considering. Perhaps in your career, you might be more optimistic and when it comes to personal relationships and dating, you're more pessimistic. Uh, but despite those differences, we usually lean towards one side of the spectrum or the other, no matter the topic. So, for example, if you are more on the optimistic side of the line, then you might be... 75, 85% optimistic in your career and only 55% optimistic in your relationships. So the idea is that no matter what area of your life we are talking about, you will be closer to either the optimistic side or the pessimistic side. So as we grow up, we develop our values and our beliefs. And most of them we copy from our parents. The first clue when people ask, are you an optimist or a pessimist, lies with your parents. Are you more like your father or more like your mother? Where do they fall on that spectrum? This is the first step in determining who you are. And by the way, if you like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I need your support and it's not easy to stand up on YouTube. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider sharing it on your Facebook and share it with your friends. Okay, so um, in general, we can divide all people into two groups. The first group are people those who believe that this world is abundant and uh, there is enough for everyone. We call those people optimists. Uh, optimists believe that no matter the subject, there are endless possibilities in this world and everyone can receive what they want. And the second group are those who believe that resources are limited. And those people believe that you have to fight for what you want in life and sometimes you have to ag be aggressive uh, even cold maybe selfish and tough or somebody else will get what you want and you will be left without anything and we call those people pessimists right um so why is this important why uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, which is called Psychology of Happiness, I teach how to be happier and more successful in life. And uh, this is why I decided to tell you this theory, because optimists in general, not all of them, but in general, uh, optimists can realize many more of their dreams, wishes and goals. Uh, and pessimists, unfortunately, no. So let's talk about the benefits of being an optimist. 
Now, benefit number one. Once an optimist reaches his goal, he will savor his victory and believe that now he can even achieve more. Once a pessimist reaches his goal, he will be afraid that his success will be taken from him. He will be afraid that now when he get, you know, what he wanted, he might lose it. A pessimist will spend a lot of time and energy protecting his achievements. And at the end, he will be left with little energy to achieve more in life. Uh, benefit number two. An optimist will use every opportunity that he is given in life to achieve his goal. A pessimist, on the other hand, will try to avoid all risks and he will question every opportunity that life has given to him. So an optimist, the third uh, benefit, an optimist will accept uh, the help of other people. An optimist will share his victory with others as well. A pessimist will compete, fight, and worry that other people will eventually betray him. A pessimist believes that uh, at some point things will go wrong and he will spend a lot of energy, time and effort to protect what he has instead of moving forward, instead of you know achieving new goals. Uh, benefit number four, uh, when an optimist faces a failure, it will be much easier for him to go through this difficult time than for a pessimist. And as a result, uh, benefit number five, it will be much easier for an optimist to persevere and start from scratch if he has to. So therefore, optimists in general can reach many more of uh, his dreams, wishes and goals than a pessimist. And uh, again, on this uh, channel, Psychology of Happiness, I like to teach free self-development webinars like this one. And I like to give you simple self-improvement exercises that you can practice at home. And today I would like to offer you uh, two exercises that will help you to override your limiting beliefs and become more positive and optimistic in life. So you can reach more of your goals, dreams, and uh, re realize more of your wishes. Again, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing. So exercises. The first exercise is to pay attention to your thoughts uh, because your thoughts represent your beliefs. And I recommend uh, to do this exercise for the next at least seven days. So you can train your brain to pay attention to your thoughts. And if you notice that you often think that there is not enough of something, or you might notice that you are afraid that somebody will get what you want, or um, you think that uh, there is always somebody who is smarter, stronger, faster than you, then you are living in a scarcity or pessimistic mentality. So the first exercise is to notice, is to be, be aware of your own thoughts because your thoughts are your beliefs. And the second exercise uh, is to create a list of things that you are grateful for. Uh, this exercise, the second one, can help you to program yourself to live in abundance or optimistic mentality. So the first exercise will help you to be aware of your own thoughts so you can notice them. And the second one will help you to override your limiting beliefs. So how to override your limiting beliefs? The exercise is create your list of gratitude or your journal of gratitude. And this will help you, as I said, to get out from under your detrimental limiting beliefs. It will help you actually to overcome them and create new beliefs. Every night before going to sleep, uh, this part is important, before going to sleep, uh, write down on paper a list of things that you are grateful for. And this is important, it is important to do before going to sleep. 
because before going to sleep your critical mind is tired and you won't fight it won't fight you as much as if you do it in the morning or during the day uh, your critical mind your limiting beliefs will fight you if you will do this exercise in the morning so at night your inner critic does not have uh, the energy to fight you that's why i want you to write down um, things that you're grateful for before bedtime uh, if you want um, to do it during the day it's also possible but it's it will be less effective as you do it before the night uh, so I want you to fall asleep with a feeling of gratitude, with a feeling that life is good and abundant. And let me give you some examples of what you can write in your uh, journal of gratitude. And I want you to consider the value of small things in life. For example, uh, let's say uh, today you received the package that you ordered on Amazon two days ago. So you can write that you are grateful to Amazon for offering Prime shipping. Or maybe you receive the package and you don't like the product. So you don't have to go back to the store and stand in line just to return it. You can use a free UPS pickup and send it back. And I personally like to order from Amazon because of their easy return policy. And I'm grateful to Amazon for that. So I can write this in my gratitude journal. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Amazon, although it would be nice. Okay, another example. I went to a cycling class today at my local gym, LA Fitness, and this video is not sponsored by LA Fitness, unfortunately. So um, I love my cycling class and they love my cycling teacher Julia. I tried uh, a couple of other teachers and in my opinion Julia is the best. So in my journal of gratitude I can write down that I am grateful to, to have her as my teacher. So the idea is to expand your list of gratitude little by little every day. Expand the list of things that you are grateful for. And you can write down small things, medium things, big things. The most important, the most important thing is to create a long list of gratitude. The more items you add to the list, the more your brain will get uh, used to the idea of living in an abundance mentality. Your brain will see your list of gratitude. Your brain will see that your list is growing every day. And therefore, you will shift your consciousness, your awareness, and you will override your negative beliefs. So uh, let's get back to the horizontal line. Let me turn on the slide. Okay, so... Again, if we draw a horizontal line where optimism uh, and abundance mentality is on the right and pessimism and scarcity mentality is on the left, then within time you will find yourself closer to the right side. So this exercise will help us to move closer to the optimistic end of the spectrum. And... Uh, you at the end you will feel more confident in yourself it will be easier for you to create healthy boundaries with other people it will be easier for you to believe in yourself believe in your dreams and actually achieve them again if you like this give me a thumbs up so before we finish uh, this webinar and before i answer your questions i would like to encourage you to watch two of my other free webinars and the first one uh, is how to make your dreams come true and in this webinar i talk about six rules for making wishes and how to set your goals in order to achieve them six important rules that can increase your chance of realizing your dreams or delay your result there are specific rules, I'm a psychologist and I'm a life coach, so there are specific rules that will help you to increase your chances of achieving your dreams. Uh, the second webinar, 
scarcity mentality versus abundance mentality. And in this webinar, I talk about six categories in life that you should fulfill in order to be happy. So uh, in order to be fully happy, in order to feel yourself great, in order to enjoy this life, you have to fulfill six categories. And in this webinar, scarcity mentality versus abundance mentality, I teach you about those categories. And also I uh, teach you about the difference between scarcity mentality and abundance mentality. And if you have kids, if you have kids, then probably you want to know how to raise a successful child. And in this case, I recommend that you watch my webinar, Should Our Kids Be Our Main Priority in Life? So the link to all my webinars you can find in the description of this video. Last but not least, I would like to invite you to my online course, Program Yourself for Success. And if you'd like to learn more about this course and how to attend it for free, check the links in the description of this video. Okay, so let's summarize uh, today's webinar. There are no pure optimistic or realistic people. Uh, we are all somewhere in between. Optimistic people can achieve their dreams and goals much faster than pessimists. Optimistic people can overcome their failures in life and get back on track faster than pessimists. A simple exercise of creating a journal of gratitude can help you to shift your mindset into abundance and optimistic mentality. I want you to pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts are your beliefs. And being aware of your beliefs, you can raise your self-awareness. If you notice negative, your negative beliefs, then you can do something about them. If you want to overcome your negative beliefs, your limiting beliefs, and program yourself for success, watch my other three self-improvement webinars and join my online course, Program Yourself for Success. And right now you have an opportunity to uh, join it for free. All links are below this video. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share your questions in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know if you have any questions about today's topic or any other topic. And I really need your help to promote this channel. So let me know. Uh, if you're here, let me know if you like my videos and share your thoughts with me. I would really, really appreciate it. Again, my name is Lena Semenek. I'm an online psychologist and a life coach. I offer self-development webinars free like this one. I offer private sessions. And this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you soon.